built our app for Onshape to extend the value of Onshape as well as promote communication and collaboration between engineers and the other cross-functional departments within a company. It's important to note that a paid subscription of the Duro app for Onshape includes access to the Duro PLM Pro web application. No separate purchases are required unless feature customization is needed. You can access the Duro app from any workspace within Onshape. The app consists of three main views, an assembly structure on the left, a model view in the center, and a part view on the right. The app currently has two main features. The first is what is called pull part number. In many organizations, a step that precedes any design process is the act of pulling a part number, whether from a database or a spreadsheet. We want to enable that process quickly and easily. Duro's part numbering scheme is category driven, allowing engineers to run parametrically based searches and data validation checks. Once categories are selected, the user hits continue, Duro-based part numbers will be pulled and associated with Onshape-based parts and assemblies. Selecting Done, you'll see updates made to the left sidebar and the right part view. You'll see new, newly entered categories, part numbers pulled from Onshape, as well as Duro-listed part numbers at the top, with a link to the individual component pages in the Duro web application. And you'll see this for each of the components as a, that was a part of the pull, number process, pull part number process. Selecting the part number link will take you to the newly created component page in the Duro web application. You can see here that we've pulled in the Onshape based thumbnail from Onshape. We are showing an indication that this component was created from Onshape. We're bringing in the underlying assembly structure and we're showing a timestamp for when this component was created. At this point, there's no documents that have been attached to this particular component page. No valuable releases, no CAD data. At this point, the purpose is for the design engineers to share critical bomb information with other team members outside of the design team. Back in the Duro app for Onshape, the next main feature is Release. Release has built, been built directly into the existing release management workflow within Onshape. Nothing changes for the user. You still step into the same release candidate process, and you fill out the pertinent details for the release candidate, as you otherwise would. We're not going to select an approver so that this release is ratified immediately, but we will select an observer to notify. Once release is selected, the release is processed both on the Onshape side as well as the Duro side. If we go to the releases page in the Duro web application, we're going to find a new release bundle, release 182, that shows all the information pertaining to the release that was just generated through the Duro app for Onshape. Where we can see the components that were, were released, the, the revisions that they're now at, any team members that were notified, and the production documentation or files that were generated as a part of this release. Duro currently converts Onshape-based parts and assemblies to step format and parasolid format during a release. This the type of format can be adjusted by any company. If we take a look once again at the Axel subassembly component page, we're going to find that this assembly has now been released to revision 20. We now have released production files in the documents tab. And you can see in the history table that we now have a new release Rev20 associated with a release bundle coming from Onshape. This is a brief overview of the power of the Duro app for Onshape that includes the entire Duro PLM Pro Web application. Please reach out if you have any questions. We look forward to supporting you and your team.